Race 29 is the Ripon Cup. It's a two mile four listed race. Thanks, Martin. <laughs> Three year olds and up. Uh, Melancholy Cove is the 72 favourite in the hunt for Paul Rhodes. 5 to 1. Riley Evard, Les for T. Rogers wants to stay forever just for Sullivan. Alan Cat Craig for Hems, Foshan Drift, Vinnie Gerard. Lynn Fayer for Arc Costello, Quick Fire Maria for James Shea, 70 star for myself, Starlight Matilda for D. Thompson, Top of the Wood for Pontypool, and Under Underworld or un Underground for C. Beckwith is your 12th. And they're off here in the Ripon Cup. Long way to go, two miles and four. Although some of the best stahirs are here, the likes of In the Hunt and Melancholy Cove. As Ninfaya, the grey, takes it up from Quickfire Maria. Now for James Shea, and it's Quickfire Maria who takes it to the front. It's just about. I had the rail very close to the rail there for a minute, but now pulls away. And it's quick farm out from Ninfaya. Wants to stay forever in third. Will stay forever. Um, Alan Cat Craig underground on the outside. Melancholy Cove in the middle. 70 star, top of the wood. Starlight Matilda uh, in the hunt. Riley Evardides, Foshan Drift. Um, quick farm Maria is in front by about two and a half to three lengths from Wants to Stay Forever. Nin Fayer is travelling nicely in third. Melancholy Cove is there in fourth. 70 Star is alongside in fifth. Starlight Matilda on the far side. Alan Cat Craig on the near side. Riley Evardines is also there in the hunt. Top of the wood, underground and Foshan Drift. But it's Quick Fire Maria in the dark green out in front. One mile six left to go. You're going to have to hear me chunter away for the next two and a half minutes or whatever it is. But it is Quick Fire Maria out in front. Nin Fayer for our Costello. Travelling nicely in second. Wants to stay forever. Is now being pressed by Melancholy Cove in between. Um, 70 Star. There's quite a few travelling wide. 70 Star style at Matilda top of the wood. And underground. All travelling quite wide around that bend. And they go out into the Ripon countryside. It is Quick Fire Maria. Who is setting a strong pace. But whether it's him going too quick. Or the others giving him a nice lead. But Quick Fire Maria. Melancholy Cove is on their own in second. With Wants to Stay Forever, 70 Star, Starlight Matilda, Nin Fayer, Foshan Drift, Top of the Wood on the outside, In the Hunt is there in the middle, starting to stalk them. But it is still Quick Fire Maria. Jockey takes a quick peek around to see where the rest are at. And will the jockey decide to push on or give the horse a breather and allow them to come back to him? There's about a mile to go. Quick Fire Maria in front, Melancholy Cove in second, Foshan Drift in third, wants to stay forever four, In the Hunt is now stalking them in fifth. You've got Riley of Ardiles on the near side, six, Starlight Matilda on the far side, and the Maroon seventh, top of the wood in eighth, outside of that one. The other grey on the outside of that is Underground. Uh, 70 Star is also at the back and struggling. Ninfair has unfortunately looking like they'll be pulled up. We're into the final six. It's still Quick Fire Maria, but the gap is lessening. The Quick Fire Maria has now been pushed along to try and keep that two and a half to three length gap. From Once Stay Forever, Foshan Drift now getting into it with Alan Cat Craig. They've taken over from In the Hunt. Melancholy Cove is struggling a bit and has now gone to the back along with Starlight Matilda. But we've got four furlongs left to go. And it's still Quick Fire Maria. Alan Cat Craig has come up nicely. Underground has made some smooth headway into this. But Quick Fire Maria leads them home. The rest of them are looking a little outpaced, but they will stay all day. We know this. But it's Quick Fire Maria trying to make the best of the way home on the rail from underground on the far side has had to go wide the whole two mile and four we're into the final three it's still quick fire maria on the green and the maroon hat on the near side 
Underground in the blue on the far side. In the hunt in the white and green. Hoover is starting to make ground along with Melancholy Cove. Then it's Quick Fire Maria on the rail for James Shea. Could he have another big one? Underground is starting to move. Here comes in the hunt for Paul Rhodes. And they're into the final furlong. And in the hunt is pulling clear now by about half a length to a length from Underground. It's in the hunt. This race has been put to bed swiftly by the Paul Rhodes champion. And in the hunt, wins again in the Rippon Cup. And it's a good win for the Professor. In the hunt, made that look nice and easy there. Just ran nicely behind the leaders the whole way around. And 13-2 to two shot, wins the Rippon Cup. From underground, it's 16-1. to one. It's a great ride on that one by Josephine Gordon for Beckwith. But Paul Rose wins it in the hunt, 13 to 2, underground for C Beckwith, 16 to 1. Melancholy Cove, the even money favourite, was third for Leon van Rensburg. And Quickfire Maria, the pacemaker, ran really well for James Shea in fourth.